Have you ever been in a place where you're so hurt that you don't even know what to do about it? Your emotions are all over the place, everything feels way blown out of proportion, and you don't even know how to process things. One of the biggest mistakes we see in our coaching practice is that people, when they feel these emotions come up, will just gloss over them and just try to be a good Christian and carry on. In this video, I'm going to share something that we do with our coaching clients that God revealed to us that's a way to actually process and heal a hurt heart so that it doesn't keep on coming back cycle after cycle after cycle. Hi there, I'm Lisa Vandenberg from Salt Solutions Coaching, where we love empowering the 2.0 version of you the way God sees you. We love sharing everyday life adventures with Jesus on this channel. So if you're new here, consider liking and subscribing and come on the journey with us. So I'm going to share with you a teaching that I did a little while ago and it beautifully outlines how to heal a hurt heart according to scripture, according to the way God wants to do it and not the way we think in our religiosity or our Christian mindset that we need to do it. And it has the power to completely set you free. We walk through this with our coaching clients all the time, helping them to reestablish identity, know who they are, um, let their hearts as well as their heads and their spirits and their bodies be whole and healed so that you can walk out the life that God created you for the way he created you to walk it out. So enjoy this teaching and really take time. I encourage you to download the, the notes and the journal questions below this video so that you can go through this process with the Lord and let him heal your heart in places that have been hurt before, as well as knowing how to deal with it when it comes up again. Enjoy. So many of us walk through times when our heart is just hurt. And over the 20 years that I've been a Christian, typically what we do is we try and we try and button it up and go, this is not the way a Christian behaves. Somebody hurt me or said something to me and, and I'm supposed to love them. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shut down and I'm gonna uh, move forward and I'm gonna get through this and tell my heart to just keep quiet um, because I'm supposed to love you. And then the next time you see them like, I love you through gritted teeth because we're trying so hard to love them, but I don't like you at all. I don't even want you near me, never mind if I love you, right? And uh, something happened to me once where I had done uh, work for a client and I was so proud of myself. I'd worked hard at it. There was a ton in there, a lot had gone into it. And I wake up excited the next day to read the email to see what this person thinks of it. And it was scathing. It was scathing. Everything that was said, and I can't believe you did this and this and this. And as I read and reread the email, I just found myself bursting into tears. And I could literally feel my heart breaking because I was so anticipating a good reaction and I didn't get one. And so as I sat there, I realized I was actually on a Zoom call with somebody. And I realized that I had the opportunity to be able to learn how to not let my heart shut down, right? And to actually walk through this and go, how? Lord, how do I get to look at this person the next time and not talk to them to good to teeth because my heart is actually so fine that I can continue to love them? It's, so, it's such a big question that I've asked for many years and so many people have asked around me. And so this is what he showed me. So if we look at our heart and it gets broken by somebody, right? The first thing he said to me is, Lisa, stop. Right? And listen to your heart. I said, Lord, what does that look like? How do I do that? And he said, just take a moment to breathe. Because, you know, when, when uh, your emotions get triggered, and emotions are a great thing, they help us to understand. They're like the lights on the dash of your car telling you, hey, you need gas, or hey, you need to um, fill up your windscreen fluid. Um, there are lights that indicate to us that something's wrong. And just as we know, if you continue to drive a car and the gas light is flashing on the dashboard, and you ignore it, you're gonna to get to the point where you can no longer drive your car. And it's exactly the same with our heart. When we don't let our emotions have their way and let us know that something's wrong and then deal with it, then our car will no longer run. And that's when we get to speak to people like this or we just ignore people altogether. And all sorts of icky stuff comes from that, right? So he said to me, Lisa, just stop and acknowledge your heart. So I said, okay, 
heart, I'm letting you know, like, oh, this feels bad. This feels, Jesus cried, right? He wept, he showed emotion all the way through the Gospels. The difference is that he didn't let it turn into something that became a hook in his heart. And so I just stopped for a moment and I said, okay, stop and listen to my heart. And I looked at, why are you hurt? What is it that's going on? And I'm talking to the Lord all the time. Right? I'm like, Lord, why, why did I cry? Why did I have this instant reaction? What's going on? And he showed me three things. It's like, I love to be excellent in what I do. I try hard to produce a great product, to be a great person. Um, so excellence is high for me. Integrity is a big thing for me. I like to be a person of my word. I like to be able to, you know, think about something and say it and then stick to it. And then I also realized that acts of service is my love language. That's how I love on other people. And I had loved on this client and hadn't received the love back. And when I had that understanding of these were the three things that my heart was hurt about, then I could, and I only got it because I stopped and actually listened to my heart. And then he said, now go on to step number two. And step number two is, that's the reaction you got from somebody else, right? Is ask God how he feels about you. Right? So I took a moment and I said, Lord, how do you feel about me? You saw what I did. So, so apart from doing, right, how do you feel about who I be, who I am as a person? And I just closed my eyes and sat for a moment and engaged my heart and said, Lord, how do you feel about me? What does this look like? My heart's hurting right now, but it's because of this, my own feelings being triggered and what this person said, how do you feel? And I just took a moment to hear him. And I remember he said, you're my daughter and I'm proud of what you did. I'm proud of who you are. I'm proud of your integrity and your excellence. And the more I did that, the more my heart began to calm down the more it began to understand, oh, okay, this is your opinion, Lisa, and the other person's, but this is what God says about you. And it helps that identity foundation pole to go deep into the ground. And so once you've got to the place where you've listened to your heart and just beginning to heal up, and then you ask God how he feels about you, and you know the truth beyond opinion and beyond anything that you do, then the third step is as your heart begins to heal, then you get to ask God, about the other person. Right? Without these first two steps, there's no way that we can get to this place where we even care enough about somebody else to ask that question because we're still trying to bandage up our own heart. We're still trying to um, help ourselves to be stable and be okay. It's just a normal self-preservation mechanism in human beings. But because I'd stopped and listened to my heart and because God was telling me who he was, I sat with him. I said, Lord, how do you see my client? How do you see this person? What are they going through? What's happening in their lives? And how can I partner with heaven to be a blessing to them? Well, it was the most beautiful time because they got revealed a couple of things that just how they were feeling. I remembered a conversation we had. I remembered some of their previous correspondence. And I realized that they were going through their own circumstances that had caused that reaction. And then the most beautiful thing happened because it totally separated their reaction from my identity. Because my heart had been listened to, God told me who I was, and God told me who they were. Then I sat down and started writing the reply email. And a week later, they were saying to me, thank you so much, Lisa, for doing this excellent job, the excellent work, this. And God totally flipped the situation around because I allowed him to do these three in me and took the time to do so. So I want to encourage you as you go through the questions below in the handout to really let God reveal to you where your heart's been broken and walk you through these steps. You'll see that we'll walk way more um, in this with you in the community. We'll actually walk it through with you and help heart hurts to be healed. But this is a great place to start on an individual basis when you're faced with something in your day-to-day -day life. So remember that God believes in you and we do too. So wasn't that so powerful? Truly, if you can walk through those steps and allow the Holy Spirit to work with you, journey with you, see your heart whole, he says that he is the one that restores the brokenhearted. And it's absolutely possible in every area of your life where your heart has been broken and where it can be broken in the future, right? This is the promise of God for you. 
So come across and visit us at saltsolutionscoaching.com. We would love to connect with you and talk with you about how to walk you through in a healing um, purpose alignment and actually practical steps of walking your purpose out that can bring you back into line with the way God created you to be and set you up to walk out and live the abundant life that Jesus died to give you. Yeah, so, so good. So as always, Jesus is inviting you on an adventure today. Will you accept?